Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed night. Well, actually, it's morning now, 1253. Praise God, praise God. Wherever you are in the world, wherever, however, with whomever. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I pray that God is in your life presence in your life for real not for play praise god i want to talk about something um i was actually on the phone with someone and they made a very good concept they was asking me about this person that you know that everybody knows on facebook and god was telling me something he said deanna they always do that and i said what do you mean god he says that they talk very powerful he said but my presence is not with them oh come on somebody hallelujah i'm 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 going somewhere and this is a touchy subject but it's a real subject how many times have you heard and i want you to be honest with yourself that you've heard some powerful speakers i'm talking about boy they can preach and they can teach but i want to ask you and i, I want you to challenge this have you felt the presence of God? And I was thinking about it in my lifetime. I have seen, I have been under some powerful, I'm talking about men, they can preach. Oh, come on somebody, how many you know? I mean, they can preach, they can teach. Oh, hallelujah. But the presence of God is missing. I'm going, I'm saying something. It, 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 I mean, be honest with you, the, um, the kingdom of darkness can preach and teach. Are y'all ain't ready for me up in here? But where is his presence? That's what we're looking for in this hour. I don't care how good you can speak, how eloquent. Oh, uh, come on, somebody, if you have a thousand of followers, that okay, that's good. You got that. You got that. But have you been in his presence? Because only in the presence are people healed and delivered for real, set free. Oh, come on, somebody. Let me read some scriptures to you. It says Acts 3, 20 to 21. It says, the times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord and he that may send the Christ appointed for you. Jesus, whom heaven must receive and that a time for restoring all the things about which God spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets long ago. And it says that, um, let me, he says, Exodus 33, 14. And he said, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Psalm 27, 8 says, you have said, seek my face. My heart says to you, your face, Lord, do I seek. Psalm 16, 11 says, you make known to me all the path of life. In the presence, there is fullness and joy at the right hand are pleasures forevermore. I just said something. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me read a little bit more. John 14, 26 says, The Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to remembrance all that I have said to you. Hebrews 13, 5 says, Keep your life free from love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you or forsake you. So all these talking about the presence, but let me read one more it says 25 5 to 9 lead me in your truth and teach me for you are the god of my salvation for you i wait all the day long remember your mercy O lord and your steadfast love for they have been from of old remember not the sins of my youth are my transgressions according to your steadfast love remember me for the sake of your goodness O lord good and upright is the lord therefore he instructs sinners in the way he leads the humble in the way and teaches the humble his way oh come on somebody i'm gonna read one last one psalm 37 7 to 9 says be still before the lord and wait patiently for him fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way over the man who carries out evil devices refrain from anger and forsake wrath fret Fret not yourself, it tends only to evil, for the evildoers should be cut off, but those who wait on the law should inherit the land. And this all talks about the presence of God. Let me tell you something, and I'm, I'm just going to be real with you. I know so many people, as a matter of fact, I, I'm going to bring up something. Um, okay, I just want to make sure I can call the name because I try not to. And some of you going to get upset. I know it, but I've been wanting to say this for a long time. And I, and I, I guess I'm released now because I, I feel it. Leandra Johnson, that girl can sing. Oh, come on. Somebody, one of the best singers I've ever heard. So I was listening to her. They have a, um, a YouTube video about her calling Tyrese up on there. And, you know, I was just looking it up because the girl can sing. But, and, and some of you going to be upset and I really don't care. I don't feel the presence though. The girl can sing. The girl can sing. I give it to her. She can sing. Like I say, one of the best singers of, of this time. But I don't feel his presence. And I was trying so hard to that. I said, girl, I said, God, she sounds so good. He said, but she hasn't been in my presence. I'm just being real. I mean, she has a heart for God. And I'm talking about everyone. 
You can have a heart for God all day long. It could be me, you, anybody. But unless you spend time in his presence, people won't feel it. Now, let me go ahead and rewind this back. I was listening to Zarkardi Cortez. Let me, I hope I'm saying this name right. Zarkardi Cortez. Um, you don't know. Ooh, I cried up in here just listening to that brother sing. I felt the anointing at depth of that song. Hallelujah. I I'm just being real. I'm not trying to bash nobody. And I, I know sometimes it seems that way. I just tell the truth. And I know the truth can be ugly. It could be about me or you. The truth is the truth. That young brother was singing. It's called You Don't Know. I felt that thing. I started crying up in here. I said, Lord, have mercy. He said, that's my anointing. Y'all understand the difference? And again, I'm not trying to back, bash nobody because we all fall short of the glory of God. But in this day, in this time, in this season, you better know the difference. Oh, come on, somebody, because the difference can save your life. The difference can save your family. The difference can make sure that you are healed and delivered for real because that's what's happening. Y'all in churches that the power of the tongue is so powerful. I mean, it make you think they preach and teach it. But if there's no presence, if there's no evidence of the power and presence of God together, then there's no healing and deliverance. And that's what y'all seeing. That's why people are not healed and delivered. Point blank in the story. You can preach good all day long. How many people came up there and said, I want to give my life to Christ? How many people say, teach me about this God that you talk about? If his presence is not accompanying with the power of the Holy Ghost and the word, then all you did was preach the good sermon, pastor, preacher, teacher, apostle, prophet. The Bible says that my spirit compels them. Oh, come on, somebody. I feel a power of God up in here. Don't you understand what compels me? That means the presence is so heavy that it compels you to listen. It compels you to want God. It compels you to want the Holy Ghost. Oh, come on, somebody. There it goes right there. Without the Holy Ghost presence, you have nothing. I'm sorry. And there are so many people that honestly love God, but the Holy Ghost is not present in their life. Present and working. You have to be, you have to have the Lord over your life. God be Lord over my life. You have to be obedient. You have to walk in obedience, in truthfulness, in honesty. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to love God. But if his presence is not in your life, then you cannot be powerful enough to change others, to compel others. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's called the art of seduction. When you can just speak, a con person do it all the time. I just said something. Uh, you have, we all know people that have conned us, right? We've all been conned before. Y'all know what I'm saying. They would compel you. And the next thing you know, you find out it's a whole lie. I just said something. But that's what they're doing in this hour. It sound good. It, it kind of feel good. But it's not what people need. At 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, when them spirits start messing with your mind, especially if you're touching the unclean thing, honey, you better have the presence of God, or if not, you're in trouble. You will tall, you will toss, you will turn all night long. I'm just being real with you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Without his presence, you don't know how to break through. Without his presence, you don't know how to be healed. Without his presence, you don't know how to ask for deliverance. Without his presence, you have nothing. I'm just being real. I miss you too, Stephanie. Um, I finally moved in, you guys. Oh, my God. I forgot how hard it was <laughs> to move, you guys. And I'm just answering her because she said, I miss you. I miss you too, um, sister. Um, it, I, and not only that, just to be honest with you, man, so much is being uncovered in this hour. You better help God. Y'all better stop playing. Y'all better stop playing. I'm just going to be real with you. Y'all better stop playing with God. Y'all better stop it. You know, you have to, let me tell you something. We have to go back to honoring God. We have to go back to honoring the people of God. I, the church, we've done too much. I told y'all that we've went too far. Just mean to people, ugly to people, talk about people, lie on people. Y'all got to stop that. Let God be God. I just said something. It's the Holy Ghost. Um, job to convict somebody you, you, that's manipulation if you're doing anything else it's the holy ghost supposed to convict a person not you people are trying to be the holy ghost no sit yourself down and let god be god i just said something too many people trying to do god's job no your our position is to pray oh i just said something our position is to fast our position is to stay in position even when turmoil is all around us. I just said something. Hallelujah. Spend time with God. Spend time with God. Stop getting in your feelings because that's what's happening. I'm going to tell y'all, and I'm going to end this life with this. 
People get angry and they say and do things that you can't take back. I'm going to say it again. You're getting angry and doing things and saying things that you can't take back. When we get anger or somebody hurt us or we feel we've been wrong, this is your position. Pull back and pray. God, I'm hurt. God, I don't understand. God, please talk to me. Let God calm your spirit down so you can listen and hear the instructions of God. And whatever God says to do, that's what you're supposed to do. Too many Christians or too many people are taking things in their own hand. And now that's not God anymore. That's you. Which is manipulation. Which is rebellion. Which is sin. Which is witchcraft. And that's what's happening. People are trying to manipulate other people in any shape, form, or fashion. And that is not of God. Period. 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 And, and I'm, I'm going to throw this in there too. You see when people try to manipulate me? I'm going to look at you crazy because I'm going to cut off all communication. Don't try to manipulate me. I, I take that to offense. Yes, I do. Until, until I just take it back to God. I'm not, getting, I'm not getting ready to come at you crazy. I'm not finna say something crazy. But I'm going to go straight to God on you. I'm going to cut off communications. That's how I do it. And I'm going to say, God, you answer them. God, you say it. God, you do it. I'm not getting ready to, no, I'm not going to say nothing. Uh-uh. You see, Apostle Deanna Dixon, I've grown. I've learned. Keep my mouth shut. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying up in here. Y'all talk too much. And then God got to backlash you. No, God, you handle it. God says, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. It ain't ours. You don't get to do that. <laughs> I just said something. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I pray y'all understand the difference between the power and his presence. Because people are powerful. But without the presence, that's straight up flesh. And that ain't God. Hallelujah. So God bless you. I pray every last one of you have a beautiful night. I know it's morning time. And, and that's why a lot of you are up. Quit worrying, God says. Give it to him. I know it's hard. Give it to him. Because when you try to do it, you will wear yourself out in the flesh, says the Lord. He said, but I got you. I'll keep you. Oh, hallelujah. How I did it before. I'm going to do it again. But maybe not in that same way. Oh, I just said something. When we're waiting on the answer from God, we're thinking he's going to come the same way. God never comes the same way. God be, God be coming. I'm talking about we think A, B, C, D. God think F, G, K. God do whatever he want to do. But I tell you one thing. It's for the glory of God and everybody else around you. Let go and let God. Stop trying to be your own God. Stop trying to manipulate things. I'm telling you, that's the best thing that everybody could do. All of us. Stay rooted. Stay grounded. Get to know your God. Repent if you have to. If you've done people wrong, repent. Let God. Let go and let God. We've got too much anger, too much rage, too much greediness, too much selfishness. Just let go. Examine yourself, said the Lord. Examine yourself. Ask God to show you. That's, that's our position. God, show me. Show me, God. Because I want to be a better person. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers, for that is who we are. God bless. I love you all through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. But make sure you have the presence as well. God bless you all.